squatter's rights, formerly known as adverse possession, is a legal principle that allows a person who does not legally own a piece of property to claim ownership of it under certain conditions. This concept is recognized in various jurisdictions around the world, though the specific requirements and implications can vary significantly from one place to another. This episode explores the general framework of squatters' rights, including its historical origins, how it works, and its potential impact on property owners and squatters. Historical Origins The concept of adverse possession dates back centuries and is rooted in the belief that land should not remain idle. It was developed to encourage the productive use of land and to settle disputes over land ownership that could arise due to ambiguous documentation or long periods of neglect. The principle is based on the idea that if a person occupies land openly and without the permission of the owner for a sufficient period, they should have the right to claim legal ownership. How Squatters' Rights Work The specific requirements for a claim of adverse possession can vary, but generally the following elements must be present. Possession. The squatter must physically occupy the land, treating it as their own. Open and notorious. The occupation of the land must be obvious to anyone, including the legal owner, so that the owner has an opportunity to take action if they choose to. Exclusive. The squatter must possess the land exclusively, not sharing possession with strangers or the legal owner. Adverse hostile. The squatter's possession of the land must be without the legal owner's permission. The precise definition of hostile varies. In some jurisdictions, it simply means without permission, while in others, it requires the squatter to know that their occupation is against the owner's interests. Continuous for a statutory period, the squatter must occupy the land continuously for a certain period, which can range from a few years to several decades, depending on local laws. If all these conditions are met, the squatter can apply to the court to be recognized as the new legal owner of the property. The process usually requires legal action, and the squatter may need to provide evidence to support their claim. Potential Impact For property owners, squatters' rights can pose a significant risk to property owners, especially those who own large, unused parcels of land or properties they do not frequently visit. It emphasizes the importance of monitoring and managing land effectively and taking swift legal action if unauthorized use is discovered. For squatters While the concept of squatters' rights might seem to offer an opportunity to acquire property without purchasing it, achieving adverse possession is challenging. Squatters must meet strict legal criteria and often engage in lengthy and uncertain legal battles. Squatters' rights, or adverse possession, serves as a fascinating intersection of property law and social policy, balancing the rights of property owners with the principle that land should not go to waste. While the concept can provide a legal avenue for the transfer of property ownership in cases of long-term neglect, it also underscores the importance of diligent property management and awareness of local laws for both property owners and occupants. As with any legal matter, those involved in potential adverse possession cases should seek professional legal advice to navigate the complexities of the law in their specific jurisdiction. Legal and Social Implications of Squatters' Rights The application of squatters' rights, or adverse possession, raises a number of legal and social implications that are worth considering. These implications can vary significantly depending on the jurisdiction, but there are some common themes and considerations. Legal Implications From a legal perspective, the doctrine of adverse possession serves multiple purposes. It helps to clarify and settle property disputes, ensuring that land remains productive and is not left idle. 
However, it also poses challenges for property owners, particularly in cases where land is inherited or where owners are absent due to various reasons such as work commitments or lack of resources to maintain the property. One of the critical legal implications of adverse possession is the requirement for property owners to actively manage and monitor their property rights. Failure to do so can result in the loss of ownership without compensation. This aspect of the law emphasizes the importance of property rights and the responsibilities that come with ownership. The process of claiming adverse possession also highlights the role of the legal system in resolving property disputes. It requires squatters to prove their case in court, often necessitating legal expertise and significant financial resources. This can be a barrier for many squatters who may not have the means to sustain a legal battle.